everybody, this is Cubits, and welcome to a short mod compilation featuring my favorite horse mods for Skyrim. This particular mod compilation is a bit of an obscure one. It features a pretty niche topic in the game. I came across a few mods I really liked while revamping my character's horse and discovered that there are actually several mods I consider to be staples in regards to horse mods. I know, it seems weird that there's going to be an entire video dedicated to horse mods, but one of the most amazing things about the modding community in Skyrim is there is not one single subject void of tons of quality mods. And this subject is indeed a subject with plenty of quality mods. And before one of the bigger mod compilations gets posted with a little bit more of a broader subject, let's just dive into a particular set of mods that revolve around making horses better in Skyrim. And, as a brief note, this compilation is centered around the Standard Edition. But if you're using the Special Edition, you'll be able to see at the bottom of the screen whether the mod I'm featuring at that moment is actually available for that particular version. So without further introduction, let's get into the very first mod on the list. Horses Revamped is a mod I discovered fairly recently, and it really mixes up the appearances of the vanilla horses. By remodeling and reworking some of the animations, this mod makes the horses look a little bit less hardy and a little bit more traditional, much like those in Oblivion. Additionally, it actually gives your horse a bit more stamina and increases its movement speed. I don't really have a big problem with the designs of the vanilla horses, but this particular model makes them look a little bit more elegant and reminds me of some of my favorite games like The Witcher and Red Dead Redemption. It also adds a pretty cool feature that actually allows the horse's hair to have physics. But just make sure that you have the physics extension installed, HDT, that allows this to take place. So if you're looking to spice up the design of your character's trusty steed, or you just kind of want something a little bit different to look at, I very much recommend this mod. Next, we have Hail, a horse retexture. This is a mod that simply improves the coloration and textures of the various horses you can obtain throughout the game. Because it's a retexture, this mod adds a little bit more subtle detail where the original design was lacking. If you thought that the vanilla textures were just a little bit too ugly compared to the high quality textures you have installed for plenty of other objects in the game, you'll appreciate having your horse match in quality as well. Depending on your specs, you can choose a 1K or a 2K version. The current version I'm using right now is the 2K one. That's really all it does, it's just a retexture, but it doesn't change the colors of the vanilla horses too much, and it's just nice to have it looking a little bit better. Now we have probably the biggest mod, Convenient Horses. This is the quintessential horse overhaul mod for Skyrim. The mod allows you to customize your horse in a ridiculous amount of ways. First, you can go into the mod menu and decide whether or not you want your horse to be essential. If you want it to take damage, or if you don't want it to take damage. You can also decide what its movement speed and health will be. Additionally, you can choose from a large variety of saddles for your horse. In kind of a shallow way, this is also kind of my favorite part about this mod. Some of the saddles it has to offer look really, really cool. And I just think that the same saddle for every single horse in Skyrim does get a little bit old. And it adds a whistle and a horn that give you the ability to signal for your horse to return to you. So the horn itself will actually bring your horse to you wherever it is in the world. And the whistle is a little bit helpful if your horse is just a bit far away and you want it to come closer to you. You can even assign differently designed horses to your followers. This works especially well if you're using a follower overhaul that allows you to have multiple followers. And if you want, you can assign a bunch of different hotkeys to interact with the features added, including a fast dismount and an inventory system. This mod is absolutely mandatory in my load order. Without it, owning a horse in the game just isn't nearly as worthwhile. Now we have Improved Horse Step Sounds. This is a mod that accomplishes one single thing. It improves the pitter-patter of horses' footsteps to sound more distinctive and in my opinion, just a little bit more like what I would expect. Meaning, depending on the surface that your horse walks on, there will also be a different sound effect for their footsteps. I personally really like small audio tweaks, so although this might not be as interesting to everyone, I certainly think it's worthwhile to install. And in this instance, instead of going on about it, I'll just let you take a listen.
On to the next mod, we have Enhanced Camera. This is a mod that I understand might not be for everyone, but it's definitely one of the best mods that I've ever used. And although it has a bunch of different features, let's just focus on what it does involving horses. It provides you with the ability to switch to a first person view on a horse. For some people, it might give you motion sickness, but for those of you that want a more, I guess, immersive experience riding your horse on the roads or into combat, I think you'll enjoy using it. Enhanced Camera runs super smoothly. It lets you easily scroll between the first and third person, regardless of the third person locks that exist within vanilla. This mod affects combat and crafting camera positions as well. So that means that you can basically do anything in first person. But for this video, just know that you'll be able to be in first person while riding your horse. Even though I'm not a huge fan of this particular perspective, I do love every other aspect of the mod, and I think that some of you out there will really like this feature. And finally, we have Better Fast Travel. This is an excellent mod, particularly if you're playing with Requiem or Frostfall or any other hardcore overhaul of the game. The reason being is that it adds a carriage near every single village, city, or settlement in the region. This proves as a helpful addition and also makes a bit of sense as well. If the carriage drivers would take you to a particular location, it just makes sense that they would be able to take you out of there as well. This means you can do things like take a quick ride to places like Riverwood or Iverstead if you so choose, and take a ride back to a bigger city. This mod isn't intrusive and frankly just adds to the atmosphere anyways, so I don't really see any reason not to install it. In my opinion, some of the best mods for Skyrim come down to the little details. And when it comes to your character owning a horse in Skyrim, this list really makes the experience worthwhile, at least to me. I highly recommend you endorse these mods if you enjoy them and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. I have plenty of Skyrim mod compilations you can check out on screen. And I appreciate all of your patience when it comes to waiting for the next mod compilation. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.